today we are going to see how we can generate CSN file which is normally used for uh, non-vessel operators. Now first we will get into documents and vessel. Vessel IMO code has to be entered then name of the vessel We can key in container vessel a call sign then ship type nationality of the vessel now in voyage information only minimum have to be IMO of the vessel I can just copy from here from vessel details and copy it into the box okay only nominal details are to be filled we are required to key in this voyage number then VCN which we can get from IceGate website or we can call vessel operator to give these numbers F5 port of arrival has to be entered then this is very important this has to be selected your registered type then this is the PAN card of authorized person registered under SCMTR ship line code is not uh, required to be entered for you but we can key in some CSN file authorized carrier PAN this has to be the PAN of ASC registration master name is not required in CSN but we we are entering any dummy data then uh, terminal operator code this is also you can specify anything this vessel operator will have their own data call purpose code this is not required in CSN but we can enter any dummy data cargo description this is also can be any dummy expected arrival and departure dates are also not mentioned in CSN lighthouse due you can mention it zero that's it that is the only things we are required in voyage details now we'll get into cargo arrival these are the main details you are required to key in vessel IMO and voyage number BL type will be Okay, receipt port INX wagon BL type will be straight BL and this will be the year BL number and previous declaration flag no. Then this is very important consolidated PAN is your PAN of your vessel operator, not yours. So whoever is responsible for filing uh, SAM PAN of that uh, entity has to be entered. Arrival port LKCMB then entry port INIXY1 then next port of call same line number one item type you can key in other cargo and move will be we can keep it uh, TI domestic transshipment so for domestic trans transshipment we are required to provide this port of CF, CFS or ICD location this you can type in and nature of cargo will be containerized number of packages I am just keeping it one and uh, selecting container okay for transshipment cargo we are required to key in transshipper on and transshipment bond number consignment name as usual we will key in some data consignee name notified party and just entering any, any data here to show you how we can move forward on of notify party then these are the normal fields which we are used to entering such kind of data then street address of notify city I will just move it quickly state foreign state and 
consignee state this is wrong and state of notify okay now we select uh, state codes then uh, country code country code will select Sri Lanka okay now India India postal code is not required in consigner we can key in some any postal code here gas weight 100 kilograms okay that is the cargo information we have entered now marks and numbers and description of cargo we will click save now get into cargo items this is the new feature I am introducing now HS code you have to key in then uh, once we click on auto automatically it will populate default values and this is useful for entering faster data then uh, container number details are to be entered I'm just keying in equipment number that is the container number and it should be 11 characters okay now type is we have to select a container CN and ISO code of container load status FCL seal type I'm selecting BTS itself then seal number agent code is uh, the pawn of agent whose container is this will be checked against a container bond while entering and this uh, package weight we have to match with cargo information then I'll click on save now cargo itinerary also you can fetch by auto automatically it will populate INIX512 CWC then uh, LKCMB to INIX512 now that's that's the information we are required just I have just completed one BL now we will assign this job number we will search this uh, IMO then uh, we will assign any job number for, for reference now job date rotation number this is to be assigned this you can get from vessel operator and click on save that these are the only entries now we will generate the CSN file the CSN file is for uh, shipping agents data is validated now generate and click on generate and save it on the desktop i will just open this file and show you what kind of data is it is in the file I'm just opening in any text editor now these are the data which are part of csn this is sce that is csn uh, for entry this is for arrival now what we will do is I will try another thing I will import some data from Excel this is recently created I will just show you how we can import Excel data into our system I will download this BL data file there are some sample data which are not uh, checked but we just I will just open that file also and show you uh, first I will upload this file then uh, I will just open this excel file also so you can get a glimpse of how the data is arranged in this excel file it's opening up now while the file is opening up I will validate you now this data is validated I'll show you the files yeah this is the file actually this you can download and see actually how the data is arranged there are some limitations on key field widths that you have to be very careful while entering data in Excel I'm just close and I'll click on import okay I'll just click import 
and these are the three rows which are uploaded successfully. Now for the same BL, we are having a separate file that is container sample file that also you can download. Uh, I'll show you how the data is arranged, but you can explore on your yourself. Uh, first two column, first column is uh, BL number. Based on this BL number, containers will be populated. So for first BL, there will be two containers. I'll just upload this container data and click on validate. That is validated successfully. Now import. Okay, now get into cargo items. This also is Excel format. I'll just upload this file. You can download some sample and see how it is working. I'll validate and I'll just import these cargo items also. I'll show you and the BL data also later on which are uploaded. This cargo itinerary file is also Excel file. So all in all there are four files for uploading for a single BL. So I'll just click then import. Okay, four rows updated successfully. Now all the BL data is completed. I'll see actually with BL. Now you can see BL number two I'll search in arrival menu because these are the arrival details. I'll search by PL number and show you how this data is imported into our system. This is the information we get from Excel. These are the information for it. These are the four tabs from four files we have imported. Now we'll try to create uh, the CSN file. I'm not sure actually does it validate or not. We'll see and okay now these are the errors these are the mistakes in the files equipment container seal type is not given and packages of cargo is not matching these are the data i'll, I'll search one bl number and show you uh, this, this seal type uh, seal type is not given and number of packages has to match with uh, in equipment also, in cargo items also, number of packages has to be matched. Okay, I'll, okay now this is the first error. Uh, you can see the packages number, number of packages, five mentioned here. Here we can get 20, 20, 24 times 20. So it matches to 80 packages. So it should be 80 or five here. Okay, these are the dummy data but uh, I'll rest it to you. You have to rectify these errors either in uh, your Excel file or you can manually correct these errors here and uh, generate the CSM file. You can just edit and see type we can select similarly, same way you can update all of the data also. Okay, now these you can do it yourself. Error are showing up 